I want to talk about the subconscious mind. This is uh, extremely important that we understand this, right? If you have the book, bro, because you could jump on Apple Books and just buy these books. I buy these books. They're like $15, $20 books. A lot of books. Esoteric, occultism, magic, and so on. It's right there. You feel me? They didn't do the digital book burning yet. So let's tap into this knowledge while it's still available for us to elevate. You feel me? <clears throat> this is page 36. <clears throat> and he writes right here, um, your subconscious mind, right? He's talking about the subconscious mind. Remember, this, this video is going to be about your emotions, your imaginations, and your mind. You dig? He writes, your subconscious mind it knows every pattern of energy in existence. And it also has the ability to change these patterns of energy. When given an instruction in the form of a belief, it first locates the target, recognizes its energy pattern, and then proceeds to change it so that it conforms to the new instruction. You gotta understand this part right here. Now, before I even go further, when he's talking about your subconscious mind knows every pattern of energy in existence, right? Every pattern of energy. So however this particular thing is, it has a pattern, a way it goes about being, right? If you look at somebody that is walking down the street, they're jacked with super huge muscles, tank top, gym bag, just that person walking, that person is energy. As they're walking, you can pretty much assume the pattern and the lifestyle that that one lives. You feel me? Just by how they look. You can see he's in the gym a lot. He's drinking water. He's probably a health guy, probably a fitness fanatic and so on. You feel me? So you're the subconscious mind of the all and the subconscious mind within you. It already knows. It already understands any type of way energy can be manipulated any way that energy can transform and go it's already designed ready to turn it in to what it can turn into because all is permitted in this realm that we're living in you feel me we'll talk more about that but it's extremely important that we understand this at, at the beginning of what we're discussing here you feel me your subconscious mind it knows every pattern of energy in existence, and it also has the ability to change these, these patterns. When given an instruction in the form of a belief, it first locates the target, recognizes its energy pattern, then proceeds to change it so that it conforms with the new instruction. In order to understand the nature and workings of this energy, we must find means of dividing it into convenient units, union, units, excuse me. There are several systems that attempt to do this. The best by far is the Kabbalistic tree of life. This incredible system helps us categorize energy and indeed everything else in life. It truly, truly, truly does. Like we're going to tap into a lot of videos on this channel and inside my free school, Knowledge of the Jungle, click the link below. You can get lifetime access right now. It's for the free 99, you feel me? And we tap into that knowledge. We tap into, we're going to be tapping into the tree of life and you get a, a, a visual understanding of energy, of where, like every way in life that a thought can go, you can see it based on the tree of life. And it's life changing. And it's a very magical step forward you feel me so he goes on this is page 39 he writes we gain access to the knowledge and power of the subconscious mind through the mind the emotions and the imagination and we also he doesn't write this here but the subconscious mind works in symbols trauma and repetition you feel me so if you're every way that you're going about your life, living your day-to-day -day shit, the things you like, you don't like, even the, even that you can remember your name and you can remember your personality, that all lives inside the subconscious mind. That's in your, it's really embedded. Your school, your parents, your authority, the friends, everything that you went through, it's all embedded in your subconscious mind. And it's how you act. It's why you are the way you are. It's where your shadow self lives. And the subconscious mind is so much bigger than you could 
possibly imagine, right? <clears throat> so if you want to change and if you want to transform and raise your energy, right? And raise your vibration up so that you can experience life a certain way, the way that you want, you feel me? Then you can do that through tweaking the subconscious mind and manipulating that vast realm of energy in your subconscious mind. It's a, it's a dark realm of energy. You feel me? And it turns into shit. Every now and then it turns into a thought, which turns into an emotion, which turns into a, a particular behavior, which turns into a particular habit. You feel me? It all lives in the subconscious mind. And a lot of people just think it's like, since your head's up here, it's like, maybe this is my mind and my subconscious mind is here. Like, no, your subconscious mind extends out, out of your body. It extends across the street. It extends across any, everything, everywhere, all at once, bro, is happening in your mind. Even me, you're watching me live from your mind, bro. Th that's the frequency you're on right now. It's, it's really deep shit. But you got to understand this because, like, it puts you back in control. You don't have to fucking, you know, be on the other side of life. Like, a lot of people are trying to figure this out. Oh, my God. You know, like, life's a fucking dream, bro. Literally. Literally. Right? So, he talks about it through the mind, the emotion, the imagination. I'm talking about it through symbols, trauma, repetition. You've heard the same thing, repetition, over and over again. You remember it, you know the song. I have fucking certain songs that stuck in my head, bro, for like three weeks now. I don't even like the songs. Just I'm in fucking Asia, in certain places you go, they just play the same song. It gets planted in my subconscious mind, bro. You can't even fucking get it out. It just, it's in a pool. You feel me? So repetition, trauma, right? You better not go there. It's like on a dog. A dog takes a shit or a piss in a house in the corner. You feel me? You scream at the dog and you yell at the dog. Dog, you better never do da, da, da. You scare the shit out the dog. He smell. He'll he'll never go in that corner again. He may go over there. He may go down the street. He may go in another area, but he'll never go right there. He'll just be traumatized inside the subconscious mind, which also trauma actually gets locked inside the body. So we're gonna talk about that later. Shit, but let's keep going. You feel me? The mind, emotions, and the imagination. This is how we gain access to the subconscious mind so he says you know what i mean let's tap in now he called these points of magical trident right the mind the emotion and the imaginations the trident's handle equates to the will okay the use of these three approaches will be discussed in later in later detail but briefly, to activate the subconscious, first, there has to be an intention, all right? Some of you already know this, some of you don't, but there has to be an intention, a reason, a purpose, you feel me? A, a purpose and a reason for input, like a why, you feel me? Like, but don't just lock on to, I gotta have a why, I gotta have an intention. It's gotta be like a, like a, like, has to happen like um you feel me like let me just keep going but that's really what he's saying bro like when he's saying that first has to be an intention there has to be like like not that not that not that no boom yeah that could happen fucking shit would be sweet if that could happen like expanding your mind because a lot of us are picturing every possibility that could happen. Let's say you're in a situation. Let's say you want 10 grand and you want another 30, 40, $50,000. Based on your environment, based on you believing and lack in the certain knowledge you know, you know like everything that could happen that can make you that kind of money is just right here in this little circle. It's like one, two, three things. You feel me? Like you're limited. Like if that's, if that's all you can do to make the money, then you can't make it because like the options are too small. But what we're talking about here as far as the intention is you tapping into a pool of like, like, fuck that shit. You feel me? Like you tapping into a, to a realm of like, yeah, but what if? Like, like, what if money wasn't an option? What if I like, what if I knew the guy and blah, blah, blah. What if I was that type of motherfucker already? 
like well, you know like what if mind and you tap into that aspect and you set the intention i want i will have that you feel me so that's setting the intention you got to sit down sometime bro get you a black book you know inside my inside knowledge of the jungles um in the link below you can see we talk about we have a thread in there it's about the black book you buy yourself a black book you start jotting out your, your spells, blah, blah, blah. Let me keep going. Um, there has to be an intention. You feel me? So let me... So this is what he says, right? He says, The use of these three approaches will be discussed later on in detail. But briefly, to activate the subconscious, first, there has to be an intention, all right? This is then directed into subconscious levels through any or all of these three access points you feel me an intention these are literally instructions like it's damn near, it's physics it's metaphysics bro but it's like you got to spend time on one page and this is fucking important because you never have to wish upon a star again right so understand this the magical trident meaning these three things work together to tap into the subconscious mind. Inside the subconscious mind is a realm of energy and potential manipulation for the realm. You feel me? Like I fuck with the subconscious mind the right way. I get to see things in reality. I want to I want more money inside the subconscious mind. I get you know, I get money in the material world. Things of that nature. You feel me? So what he's talking about here is you set the intention by using the magical trident, the mind, the emotions, and the imaginations, right? Set the intention, then this is directed into subconscious levels through any or all three access points, right? So you access it through the mind, you access it through feelings a certain type of way, and you access it through using your imaginations, all right? Hold on, let me change the page. Make sure there's none of that. This is then, this is then directed into the subconscious levels through any or all of these three access points. Sustained will is equivalent to belief, and belief always gets results. That right there is the magic right there. He probably don't even need to really write anything else in the book, but he does. But that's really it. Sustained will is equivalent to belief and belief always gets results all right all dominant thoughts or beliefs that exist in your subconscious mind are causing things to happen right now these may be good or bad and may be completely unknown to your conscious mind really that you could be living you're you're literally living right now consciously based on things that are happening unconsciously that you've set, you know, you set up in your mind a long time ago. You're living based on belief that, I don't know who put that shit in your mind. You know, like a lot of people don't do certain things. Like, why don't you do that? Why don't you do, why are you that way? For what reason are you that way? You might just think it's just like the way you are, but no, it's, it's a dominant thought and it's a dominant belief that is playing in your subconscious mind that is causing things to happen. Now, these things may be good or bad, and they may be completely unknown to the conscious mind. It is very easy to blame external forces or supposed demon. In the same way, it is easy to credit some beneficial angel if something pleasant happens in your life. But the plain truth is that you are causing these things to happen, and every cause must have an effect must have an effect and we'll talk more about that later in this video because we're going to end up reading about that all right so he goes on we're still on page 40 right now right you may be free you he goes you may by free choice cause things to happen by using this same law in this case all that needs to be done is to you all that needs to be done is to give your subconscious mind a new instruction in a way it can understand. These techniques used to do this are classified as magic. 
I don't know why he didn't drop it with a K, but you know, we're talking about magic with a K here. Cause and effect is therefore a just and correct law, for it seeks to give to each individual that which she or he or she conceives. Sorry, my brain freaking got whacked out for a second. All things inanimate and animate, abstract and concrete are one substance. Everything came from the one source. Therefore, everything contains life and is linked together. Everything contains life to a degree. You know, he's talking about, you know, like stretch your mind a bit, obviously. Um, if you touch a spider web, the vibration resonates through the web. If you are on the web, you feel the vibrations. Now, this is a very important part right here. Listen very closely. To touch the web of life is to send out a message to everything in creation. To send out a thought is to vibrate the web of life that connects every living creature and life energy through the laws of cause and effect. Like attracts like, and cause is always matched by effect. A sustained thought always reaches everything in creation that it is in keeping with that thought. And by virtue of this fact, so do cosmic energy and universal intelligence respond to your thoughts. Universal intelligence is universal cosmic intelligence is cosmic consciousness, which is the universal subconscious mind. You feel me? So we couldn't exist here in the realm unless we were a part of this. You are connected to a spider web. You are connected to a tree. You couldn't, it has to, in order for it to be, it's, it exists. You exist, it exists. You feel me? Um, every cause must have an effect. Now, resolve here and now to make sure, let me make sure this is even important. Resolve here and now. All right, let's tap into a, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because this is extremely important too. Yeah, before we even go into the circle cross. All right, so you get what I'm saying, right? So what he's leaning into here is also like, he's about to start talking about symbolism and the subconscious mind, which is why I talk about the sigils, but it's like, I don't know if the sigils go over people's heads when I'm bringing this up. A lot of this, you see, we also have to keep in mind that this information is not like it was not available so many years ago. You know, it was it was it was just not available. It wasn't even translated into public English and people, anybody could just pick it up. This is in high priests. This was kept away. This is locked in universities and mystery schools. You feel me? So today people just throw words around. And they don't understand it. But this information was guarded like with blood over traditions and over years and it's just some words are so simple and overused and burnt out but the truth is you got to spend time here and you don't live life you don't live a life like everyone else you just don't it's actually impossible it's literally impossible right so page 42 symbolism and the subconscious because this is why i was talking about like sigils like sigils are extremely important because in like back in the day i remember when i would do youtube i would tell people like yo we're gonna write our goals out like write our goals think of what you want write your goal right go like yeah you can do that but you can also build a sigil and build a symbol and take those goals and take those ideas and thoughts and dreams and aspirations and wills you put them into a symbol, into a sigil, you create the sigil. Watch my videos on sigils on YouTube. You take it and then you plant it in the subconscious mind and then you let the sigil attract and do all the things because all the energy is charged into the sigils. Very simple magic. It's like the easiest form of manifestation, but it's just like people aren't really doing it. So they're just making boo boo kitty fuck ass video that are just like oh it's how you close your eyes and man meditate and manifest and the law of attraction it's like nah but this is proper science it's proper science so 42 he talks about 
talks about symbolism. Yeah, I'm just thinking, you know, like even if you're watching this shit right now still, you're so different, bro. Like, you know, I be overthinking sometimes. I'm like, oh, I just fucked up. I didn't say these words right. Maybe they not watching the video, but it's just like, bro, you get what I'm saying? Like you, if you really hear, if you really hear watching this shit, learning too, bro, that's crazy. Like we different as the fuck. Like, I mean, you gonna do something else after this and I ain't here to hold you. I'm not here to hold you. You feel me? You can go, if you're a dude, maybe you got your vices. You got your little habits, you feel me? Maybe you got your little habits. Maybe the Airbnb. I don't know why I said that. But like maybe you do, maybe you got your little habits. You feel me? After you done with this, you going mm -hmm, you know, you got your vices, you trying to fight that. I get it, bro. I get it. But the fact that you take the time and you come back here to get this knowledge to up to upgrade. Or you might be young and you try. You figure this this simple shit, bro. Like this is fucking. Come on, it's a subconscious mind shit. Like this is the basic, 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 basic. But there's a lot of people out there don't know this shit. You feel me? And it's like the fact that I'm taking my time. Like I can be doing a lot of shit. Like I got a business to run. I got fucking people. I got to tell people what to do. I got to manage shit. I'm hungry. But it's like it's a whole frequency, bro. You feel me? Like I ain't all. I'm not all excited. I'm not all excited, but it's just like, this is what I, this is what it is. So it's like, I don't mean like, I'm not like, I, it's my life. You feel me? Like, I gotta know, I gotta know how my fucking subconscious mind, I gotta know what's what's going on. I just gotta know, this is who I am. And the fact that you watching this, and if you even, I don't know how long this video is, you know, if you even, if you even watching or listening, cause I can't see you, whoever you are, but shouts out to you, you feel me? tapping into this shit like people ain't tapping in bro like they don't they don't give a fuck they don't give a fuck they don't give a fuck so like what he talks about on 42 page 42 i get my little book thing but he's what he's talking about on page 42 is symbolism and the subconscious mind right and he starts off by saying having covered some of the basic truths of life let us now start to build a bridge between conscious and subconscious levels. Shit about to get fire, bro. And it's a bridge. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Sigils. It's a bridge. It's a bridge. Like, this is, this is like where I'm trying to go. This is what I'm trying to get. You feel me? This is me. This is where the sigil goes. So I charge the sigil. I throw it into the mind of the all. I let them. I let it do what it does, and then the sigil will speak to the subconscious mind and spit me out what I need in the real life. It's crazy. It's a middleman, bro. A symbol. A whole symbol. Just a symbol. You could pay your bills off a symbol. You could start traveling the world off a symbol. You could attract the love of your life. You can attract the self love. You can attract anything that you desire in this physical plane you're trying to go somewhere meet somebody think of something talk to the dead whatever bro whatever you're trying to do on earth you can do it through a sigil there's bunch there's a bunch of books on sigil magic and all of this shit. feel me so what he says is the language of the subconscious is symbolism the subconscious does not understand english or indeed any other language it only understands symbols bro why do you think we have to spell letters why do you think why do you think so like why you don't think like when you say a word so if i say the word um teleportation whatever i just said teleportation i said it right but my subconscious mind saw it bro it saw it and it saw it in a symbolic way and that symbol was vibrating at a certain rate you feel me because this the word just the word is energy the letters are energy the way the words are, letters are shaped how i've been taught man shit crazy bro the subconscious does not understand english nor indeed any other language bro it only understands symbols there are 
and remember and repetition of trauma there are many symptoms for now we will consider the two main types abstract and personal so now he's about to tap in the abstract symbol you feel me now that we're gonna get a little deep but I'm gonna keep it very refreshing and I'll skip through some shit if it's like too much border for you. Cause basically he's just about to talk about the encircled cross. You feel me? Like earth, air, fire, water, and um, the four points, the four elements that create all, all matter. You feel me? These are the basic points, earth, air, fire, water. They come with particular colors, particular energies, particular astrological connections and so on, right? Abstract symbols such as the encircled cross below are highly potent forms that instantly convey a mass of useful information. Literally, bro, just a circle with a cross in the middle has so much information in it, it's mind blowing. And we're about to get into it. Just like the pyramid, a triangle with the eye, all of these, bro, it just holds information, it's all sigil. The more you think about them, the more information they will give you. This information comes directly from your memory. In other words, your Akasha Gregors. In other words, your subconscious mind. By using magical symbols, you can obtain magical information in great depth because your subconscious mind has no limits. Your subconscious mind has no limits, right? But let, I'm going to read that again, bro. By using, by using magical symbols, you can obtain magical information in great depth because your subconscious mind has no limits. By using a certain magical symbol, you can, you can do what? Oh, you can obtain information in magic in uh, in great depth. So we're talking like, what if I didn't even make the symbol? Hmm. You you're that's that's basically what he's saying, bro. If you didn't even make the symbol, if someone else made the symbol. You can obtain knowledge from the symbol if you meditate on the symbol, if you stare at the symbol, and so on. Why? Because the subconscious, the subconscious mind has no limits. Meaning, bro. Meaning. And you we gotta go deep into this, but where do you think your ancestors go when they die? Like, where do you think, like when someone dies, where do you think they go, bro? Where do you think you are right now? You're in the subconscious mind of the all. So if you have an ancestor, if you have a relative, a past person who's lived and died, if you, you've had past lives, multiple, if not thousands, millions, billions of past life, bro, it was still happening in the subconscious mind, bro. So you can tap into a symbol created when you weren't even physically here and you can remember and draw upon all energy, all energy from that symbol in the now, right now with your physical body, bro. That's why the cross is so much more than what the, 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 you know, the, the whole religious thing turned into the, the cross has, it's not about that. It's not about Jesus and all of that weird stuff, bro. The cross is simply you. You are Christ consciousness, bro. You are cross. You are the cross. You are the Christ, bro. And it, the shit goes so fucking deep. But we gotta understand that, like, like there's certain things innately within us because it's in the mind of the all. This is why, damn, <clears throat> damn, you gotta read the freaking book, bro. Like, just a just the Kabbalion alone explains that to you, like. How you are in the mind of the all. Let me see if I can. We're going to sit here today. The spirit is simply. Right, I'm going off some other shit. Let me fucking chill. But just like look at this. You can see every every word says all, all, the all, all, the all, the all, 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 all. You feel me? Like, obviously, I got to jump in at the right spot. But that's what I'm saying. Hope you're still with me. But that's what I'm saying. You feel me? Uh, you could tap into memory. You feel me? You could tap into to memory from past lives, bro. Because it's in the subconscious mind, bro. That's all I'm pretty much trying to say. You feel me? So, um, it is... And I was, I was going to delete and cut that video. I ain't edited this fucking video. Fuck off. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
what I'm saying, like, if you hear, if you hear, bro, like, you're different anyway. Like, you know how the game is. You know this this stuff ex- ex- excites you sometimes. Gets gets me a little. You know what I'm saying? But um, you get you you get the vibe, bro. This, this is what it is, man. This is what it is. This is what it is. This is what it is. It's a blessing to be able to even tap in. Um, it is also right. So let's go real quick and read this real fast. By using magical symbols, you can obtain magical information in great depth. All right, we just chopped that up because your subconscious mind has no limits. No, no, no limits is no limits, bro. It is also important to remember that you use a symbol. You do not make it on an object. You don't. You do not make the symbol an object of worship or consider it to be holy. You feel me? To any degree. By all means, treat the symbols with respect, but never turn them into idols. You get what I'm saying? Like, but that's what they did with, with the Jesus thing, you know, on the cross. Like, they turned that into, like, so much more than what it really uh, could have been. You feel me? Um, all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I hope y'all ready. How much time we got on this thing? I don't even know if it... It don't even matter, you feel me? Because right now, we're going to tap into chapter two. Let's chop it Let's chop, let's chop it up and tap into chapter two. The reason why I zoomed over to this part of the book, because it's like, to go through the other one, I'm. Not, it's like, you feel me? You got to do the work, too. You got to do the work. I read this book a lot. I read it all the time. So we got to tap into this right now, all right? Also... Make sure you jump into the school, Knowledge of the Jungle. It's a free community. It's more than a school, you feel me? It's a place that you can go and have a realm of individuals that are just like you, elevating, gaining knowledge of self, not focused on the struggle, not down bad, not, we're talking about using these practices and getting results, you feel me? So come be a part of the free community. The door is wide open for those who are, you know, mature, and ready, you feel me, to initiate themselves to that next level. You could also click the classroom tab when you get inside, reach out to me, reach out to my admins, book a call, book a session, lock in with this knowledge, get into these one-on-one personal classes so you can elevate yourself. Do you dig? Now let's keep going. Now chapter two, chapter two, 57, page 57. We still reading esoteric magic and the Kabbalah, and he rocks the Kabbalah with the C. This is the Kabbalion with a K. It doesn't really have much to do with the Kabbalah. Well, it does to a degree, but it doesn't talk about the tree of life that much. But you also have the Kabbalah with the Q, all right? So yeah, chapter two, the cosmic plan, the encircled cross and the cosmic spirit, right? Now, these mysteries and secrets of real magic lie in the understanding of the subconscious mind. You give the subconscious mind an instruction, either directly as in a correct performed ritual or an act of magic, or inadvertently through beliefs, whether they be correct or wrong. Now, I'll even just slow down real quick so you can understand it. You can understand that. Remember, the subconscious mind is where it's all happening. You got to understand the subconscious mind. Spend time in the subconscious mind. You feel me? You give the subconscious mind an instruction by either doing a ritual, magic. You feel me? That's you talking to the darker aspect of yourself through a ritual. I love to do rituals and the magic side. You feel me? But I also tap into belief. But belief was more for when I was learning all of these years just like believing 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 but i like to will things into existence now you feel me um and he talks about you can do it through beliefs whether good belief or bad belief doesn't matter now the subconscious mind will always carry out this direction no matter what the facts appear to be it's a bit crazy you know because it's true this incredible part of yourself is totally limitless creative and all-knowing but how to touch the universal web of life is to cause vibration all right now every cause has an effect so to send out a thought 
vibrates the web of life that connects everything because all things are one sentient being. Okay. Should I tap in? You should I go over that? I know you just said no. All right. You would say no, but real quick. No, I'm kidding. Should I? All right. Let me just keep going. Subconscious, the subconscious and the universal energy and the universal intelligence. This is what you are made of, and what you have to realize and remember so you connect to it. Okay. Now, the fact that universal energy is so precise in its actions suggests that there is an intelligence behind behind it. You can see this the way nature grows. This universal intelligence is responsible for creation as we know it, for it shapes the inert matter into recognizable physical objects and gives them life, right? This creative process is free flowing and unrestricted and effortless. I guess free flowing is the same as effortless, but it's really effortless the way you can just drop a seed in the ground, pour water, give it sunlight and you get a tree. It takes no work. Now, creation gives life and creates freely. It does not seek to restrict, destroy, or enforce its will. It simply is. And as such, it can only be beneficial. Now, as a human being, you have a very special place in a creative scheme, in the creative scheme. For you also have the capacity to create by believing things to be true, you cause it to be true. You have the power to create, and you can, and you do, create using the same exact system of operating in the universe. Your subconscious mind uses universal energy and manipulates its patterns on demand. In addition, being part of the creative process, it is, vital, it is a vital part of universal intelligence. It is nothing less than the God within having access to all aspects of creation and the wonders of life's mysteries. To say that you have a hotline to God is therefore true because God is within you. You feel me? Like God is within you. It is within you. That's how you can you can call it. That's, it's always been that way. Like growing up as a kid, I remember just like I had to do prayers. You know, we grew up in Christian. I grew up in like a Christian household and everything like that for the most part. And we had to do praise. I remember being on my bed and I'm just talking to God. I was just like, like, what could happen? Like, he yells, yes, my child. Like, that would never happen. It was just always like this. Like, I'm just closing my eyes, using my imagination, talking, using my voice, talking to the to within. This is a strange thing. But that's the hotline. If you, you want to call God, just go look in the mirror. You know, you are far greater than you believe yourself to be. This is what he says. And you really do have the power to create whatever you wish. But um, because there are no limits except those that you accept yourself, right? And there's a lot of things genetically through all these years of quote unquote evolution that you genetically believe and you accept. You feel me? Unfortunately, like there was times where we were we were once we were once reading minds, moving things with our eyes flying there's all kinds of things that black people did before they even deemed black people before like this is pre pre-ancient egypt this is like deep deep power like we came here in this world as scientists like that's what it was science was religion we came here to, it was all about learning knowledge doing tools and so on but it got lost along the way due to so many particular things and so many falls that had to happen and so much of the knowledge being stolen and burnt away through all of this colonizing and, and world dominating and takeovers and, uh, you know, housing and hoarding the information and using it for, uh, for power and whatnot. You feel me? So there's a lot of shit that we just believe genetically, like genetically, like it goes very, really deep, but, um, he goes on to talk about subconscious, right? In the universal mind. He says, consider the very simple fact that you as an individual have two minds. The first is your conscious mind. Now that is the part of you that thinks, okay? You use it all the time to observe and evaluate the world around you. 
The other mind is your subconscious mind. Now, this is not far removed or deeply hidden, nor does it take a great deal of skill to use. It has two functions. First, it looks after all automatic functions in your body, such as your breathing, your heartbeat, your tissue regeneration, the growth of your hair, and so on. The second function is to store information in your quote unquote memory card and to act accordingly to your wishes. The way the wording is, is very, you know, yeah, you get what I'm saying. It's very soft and whatnot. It's, it happens at a much more uh, scientific and quantum level. You feel me? Like on a more of a mathematical level. But the way he's explaining it is very... So I love this author because like, you can read this shit to anybody. Sometimes I'm reading, I'm reading Psychonaut sometimes to people, you know, I feel like, all right, is this shit going over their heads, you know? Because it's like, it's just levels. It's always been this way. Certain people know this and then certain people small amount know the higher level shit you feel me so, so i love this author because the way he explains it anybody can get it i can get it you can get it we can get it you feel me so he talks about you have the capacity to be whatever you want and to have whatever you desire you have the capacity to do this you are in contact with the whole of creation everyone has a subconscious mind with exactly the same capacity for handling power or communicating over the vast distances. If you put all these minds together, when, wherever they may be, either on this planet or in the vast of creation, you have a universal mind. Though this universal mind, you are able to draw on all thinking that has gone before. I just said this a while ago. For all memories are stored within. All memories, other people's memory. Bro, I there's something I, I can't even say. People might think like it's crazy, or something, but like I I pick up memories, bro. I hear other conversations. Like I do this. Um, I don't know why all the time. Like sometimes I'm really sitting there and I'm just like, I'm thinking of something that I've never went through, and I can just see it happening in my mind's eye. I can hear a whole conversation. Not even my voice sometimes. Sometimes not even my language. Sometimes I just pick up. I could pick up with someone else left off. Because it's like, it's weird. It's a weird, uh, let me just keep going. You feel me? So that's what he's talking about, right? He says, perhaps you have read or heard of the great symbolic library of knowledge called the Akashic Records. According to ancient mystical doctrines, the name stems from the Sanskrit word akasha, meaning primary substance, all right? Or that out of which all things are formed, which is that alchemical, invisible, cosmic consciousness, melanin, dark matter. That's what the Akashic records are. It's melanin, all right? Therefore, we can say that the Akashic records are indelible and what is that indelible and internal records of the universal mind containing all knowledge of the past present and the future of course these are not materially written accounts but rather they are an expression of the totality of the universal wisdom that's why you could do certain rituals and you can call on particular gods particular archangels to assist you you can literally Go into a trance of gnosis through the, using the pranayama, deep breathing, meditation, altered states of consciousness, and you can chant and you can invoke certain deities and certain energies and certain spirits that are lying dormant within the subconscious mind. Literally within your brain, they are living there. There are little cells living in your body and you can call the name. By you calling the name, you're able to vibrate the name and you're able to draw them up and they will appear, bro. I'm telling you, if you know anything about that next level magic, you've seen spirits, you know how it rolls, bro. I've had some, without me really knowing what I was doing, I've had some in, very intense experiences that shook me up. Probably why I'm right here now doing these fucking videos still, bro. Because, like, I've been shook up, like... I've, I've, I've had my run with, you know, I still do, but I've, you know, mushroom trips, LSD, whatever the fudge. Trippy, really trippy. But 
You could tap into a certain meditative state, bro, where you see some shit. You're like, oh, okay, you for real. This shit for real. You feel me? Like, I thought you, I thought you were dead. <laughs> you, you, shit. <laughs> you feel me? Let me know if you even on that. Like, if anybody, if you watching this and you've ever even been through anything like that, let me know to what degree, to what degree have you experienced that shit? Like, I've had a talk. You want to hear a story? We have time. We have a lot of time. I be forget. That's another thing, bro. Like, I be... If you watch this whole video, you'll notice the transitions in my attitude. I'm letting go. Because I start this shit off, I'm like, how about to read a fucking book? Online. Like, any, anyone going to really stay here and rich to watch this shit. But it's like, bitch... You gotta forget I'm the only thing in existence. You are me to a degree, yeah. So you here vibing too. Vibing too, bro. I had a mushroom trip. Me and me and Smooley had a mushroom trip. We were me and her were north of Thailand. And I was just like, today's the day. It was actually Christmas. No, New Year's Eve. I think it was New Year's Eve, bro. And we in North of Thailand and we just in the bungalow. And we just, I don't know, I woke up and I was like, today's the day, you know, we're tripping. And she's just always down. Like, she's my best, 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 best. So she's always just down. She's like, all right, don't go, let's do it. And then, you know, I weighed my shit out. I weighed her shit. And I was just like, boom, boom, boom. You know, I take a little bit. And I was just like, ah, eh, it's not gonna work. So I take some more. And I lay on the hammock with her, and I'm like, yo, take this a little bit. And you know, you wait like an hour or something, but before you know it, I'm just like staring at a flower, spaced out, you know? Kind of like the Aldix Hustley in The Doors of Perception, right? Where he stared at that vase with three roses. And after he took like a hundred milligram of, of peyote, Right, or that mescaline shit. He took that shit and he just sat there in the front of his therapist and he just stared at a flower. And by staring into that flower, he went into the into the secrets of the universe, bro. All of these altered states of kind crazy shit, bro. Crazy shit. So yeah, when I take the mushrooms, so boom boom, you know, it's like we vibing, she rolling around, I'm like tripping. You know, but relax. You know, a lot of my shit, all of my, all of my, my come ups, bro. All it's just, I just be giving lectures, and talking. So she, for a black man to have a, a woman in his life that listens when he's talking is a very big deal. Cause we really got so much to say. We have so many, and a lot of men don't talk. You feel me? So smoothly be really listening to me, and and it's just. She listens, you feel me? I know sometimes she don't even get the shit. Like, not like she don't get it, but sometimes it's just like, whoa, I never fucking heard that shit before. And I'm just like, yeah, I know. And you know, I move on to another topic. But it's like, it's dope that she could, I can talk to her. So I'm on I'm tripping and I'm just giving a speech and we having revelations, you know, tears and shit. You gotta cry on mushrooms. And like hours are going by, and then maybe like after four o'clock. 4 o'clock, just 4 p.m. just happens to, for me personally, 4 p.m. anywhere in the world has to be the most beautiful time. I don't know, something about from 4 to 5 o'clock. It's just perfect weather, perfect, like bur like just perfect, bro, perfect. Uh, so yeah, it was around 4 o'clock, and then before you know it, we're rolling around and the lady that ran the place like the the owner she's like walking back and forth seeing us all day in la la fucking land you know like la la land we just rolling we talking i'm giving talk we crying one minute you know walking in circles goofy shit but like as four o'clock five ish came around like you think you're sobering up you know come mushrooms to last like six hours you think you're sobering up. And I remember like, we're sitting there looking at these two big trees and then it just, something, just a lot of things happen. And I walked away from her. And then as I'm walking, I'm like, I hear the tree, the tree's like, yo, it said something. And then he made me stop 
I mean, it made me stop, turn around, look at a bigger tree. And then the bigger tree was my dad. Like, it's crazy. Like, it was so cool. What? <laughs> huh? Oof. And then cause my dad died. Like, my dad died in 2016, right? So he'd been dead. I got over all of that stuff. I'm not tripping and shit, you know? So I'm just like, but then my dad just shows up and it's like, you just know when you're in front of your your father. I don't know how to explain this. Um, I was talking, what I was talking about this shit for? But either way, he shows up and we spoke and I cried and he gave me a hug and he transferred his energy. He came through the tree, bro. So it, it just reminded me and showed me that trees are portals. Like, and he gave me all these messages and he I was just straight up talking to the dead. And it wasn't the first time. And he came, he came back again after that. And another friend of mine even came back that past a few years uh, back. Uh, and then they come and they talk to you. And But what my whole point is, well, I was talking about the record, book, of course, blah, 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 blah. So I guess what I'm talking about is like, they're still here. They're, they're there. They're still here. We're in the mind of the all. They're in the subconscious mind. You can connect through mushrooms. You can connect through altered states of consciousness to the same dormant things that are lying within you, like your ancestors, the stars, the heavens, the angels, all, all as above, so below. It's all within you. You can call its name. Sometimes it doesn't even have to be called. You can just get into that frequency. It will arrive. Uh, I know I went a little whatever, but this record, um, yeah, so we're talking about the Akashic Records, right? Everybody lives in the Akashic Records. You feel me? Past, present, and future. So he says that it is easy to see that the Akashic Record is simply another way of expressing the fact that the universal link, it, it's, it has the universal linkage of the mind and nothing is ever forgotten this record can be this record can be read literally like a book of course it must be done through your own subconscious mind by using sensible techniques but it can but it is there to be explored by anyone by anyone who takes the time and the trouble to look the right way it's, isn't that crazy the truth we are all linked together through the mind and we have the ability to span the vastness of time and explore the enormous reserves of knowledge, blah, blah, blah. The entire scheme represented, uh, let me just keep moving, okay, another symbol he's talking about, the circle cross. So yeah, like, yeah. So, you know, just talking about symbols here, you, you gotta get the book, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm running through, <laughs> I'm running through some pages because it's really big on the encircled cross, but it's like he has a book that's called the the magician. The magician he has. It's the very first book I ever I ever discovered through Philip Cooper. I think Panic put me onto that shit back in the day, and that's a more basic understanding of what Philip Cooper talks about and what it really means. Like it, it really showed me um, things that I, I forgot. You feel me? magical things, magical aspects of myself, power, real power, bro. Like real power, real power. So let me keep going in a circle cross. And another thing too, right? This is the best use of your time right now. Believe it or not, like just the, the act of listening, just by tapping into this frequency, tapping into this understanding, bro. Like it's everything. It's everything, bro. It's actually, it's actually everything. It's actually everything. Like this is the stuff that makes you concrete. You know, it just makes you concrete and unbreakable. And you must become unbreakable because day to day, this entire world is trying to break you. And it's not them or they as it is parts of you that you don't understand parts of you that weren't supposed to be parts of you certain aspects of you 
too jealous, too, maybe you have really bad habits, maybe you're a drinker, maybe you smoke a lot of cigarettes, maybe you can't stop doing certain things, maybe you can't control yourself, you feel me? There's a lot of chemical reactions happening that you really have much to do. You don't know how to make a cigarette. Like, you don't, I mean, like, you're not out there making, you know, pulling the tobacco and turning it into whatever and creating paper and all of this shit. Like, you're not, you're not doing, you just like, boom, you got caught up in the program. And um, it's no excuse for right now because the, the information is available. You feel me? The information, the information is available. And what is this one about right here? Yeah, the information is available and we're doing it right now. We, we leveling up. However, we need to level up. You feel me? So that's what this video is about. That's what we're talking about. And I hope that you learned something, right? I hope you go get the book. It's called Esoteric Magic. I mean, I don't make nothing off it. I don't got no link for nothing for you to click. But it will be, I will have this inside Knowledge of the Jungle. You feel me? So you can get it through the school, through the free community. You feel me? It won't be free, but you can get it through there. You dig? And um, tap in. Tap into this knowledge. I hope this gives you... Cause like, what do these type of videos do for you, for people? What is it? Wh why? 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 We gotta make sure the shit we doing useful. That's why a lot of people be booking calls with me and they're trying to have these certain conversations. Like, I just ask. Like, just gotta just make sure you ask the right questions where you get the best answers. You ask the right question. You ask me the wrong question. I'm gonna give you an answer, but that might not even be what you need to hear right now. And most of the time, I tell you what you need to hear. But it's like, ask the best question, you'll get the best answer. So it's like, why do we have to understand and give a fudge about the subconscious mind? What's the point of this shit, bro? What's the fucking point of it? How do I use this shit, right? Because it's using you as we speak. And if you don't take back control of your fucking mind, you will forever be confused and frustrated while you're here on earth and confusion and frustration is nothing more than stagnant energy balls of energy your confusion and stagnation might be right here right side of your body your confusion and stagnation might appear as a fucking tumor or some shit it could appear as diabetes you feel me like your confusion and your stress can appear as like rash. It can appear as like really bad habits, like eating like McDonald's all the time or just being tired, not, not able to use your mind, not eating, starving yourself, you know, like like people, some people just like sitting. I see a lot of it in the world, bro. A lot of like self-sabotage unconsciously due to lack of understanding of self. You feel me? All of that under standing ism is happening under your conscious activity of your mind it's in the sub that's what sub is it's under underneath the subconscious is happening if you might if you don't like what's going on minute to minute day to day hour to hour week to week month to month you don't like it if you feel victim to it to any degree to any degree you feel like wait what's going on i don't know what's going on. i don't have control of this i need to know more i need why is it like this for me hey what do you do when you're working a lot but it's just like bro if you don't get this shit then it's getting you it's getting you trust me and it is a whole gang gang of energies it's not even just it you feel me it's them it's particles it's spirits it's demons it's energy you don't know how deep this shit go but we gonna go we gonna go there we're gonna go there we're going to tap in to this information bro. trust me because you have to or you're gonna be confused you feel me and we have to not experience that because there's a brighter side of life and it's called peace you feel me Click the link, join the free community underneath this video. I hope this vibe was a nice time with you, you know? Go do your shit, handle whatever you gotta handle. I'll see you with the next in the next video. 
book the one-on-ones. You don't have to, but I highly recommend if you're trying to really tap into this information, I will show you where you can spend your time most valuably internally. You feel me? This isn't about following. This ain't no Messiah shit. This is pure knowledge of self. But you have to be, you. once you realize that I am your reflection, that I am you or whoever you're learning from is you, that's when your eyes will really open. You feel me? So by you learning from someone else in regards to knowledge of self, you have to have discernment so you know that that message is for you. And then you can take away and discard what don't work for you. You feel me? But you got to be shown the light. You got to know what exists. Like when I first started learning about the Kabbalah, I was learning about it, the Kabbalah with the C. And I'm like, oh, this is the Kabbalah. And then some other person writes a book and they're like, yeah, this is the Kabbalah with the Q. And then this other one's Kabbalah with the K. And then you read another book and it's like, yeah, it doesn't matter how you spell it. It's like, so it's like, shit, bro. Like, what's the truth? The truth is constant. The truth is constant. Is the, is the Kabbalah still here? Yes. Okay. So let's tap in. You feel me? The truth is constant. Is Jay McPherson still here? Yeah. Where, where was he? I don't know. Let me go back to the video. Go through my hundreds and hundreds of other videos. You don't get this version of me today, who I've transformed into now. Go back, get the old shit, get the personal development, get the stuff that I was teaching when I was just tapping in at in my early 20s. You feel me? Before I made the money, before I started to travel, before I left the United States, before I built the business, before I helped the people and did the things. Like, I did the things. I'm still doing the things, but I'm just doing it again now because I've done it. I've, I've tapped into all, all levels of the material world that I've ever wanted to experience. I've experienced it. I've literally seen it. I drove it. I've met them. I've been there. I've done that, right? So where I am, my understanding now is trying to tap into a certain frequency and stay in this frequency, you feel me? Which is just the knowledge, just the knowledge. I'm using the knowledge. I'm built on it, but it's my DNA. It's my genetic output. It's my genetic resonation, bro, forever. I am this, you feel me? I am the vibration that comes with a good book. That's what I am. I am that damn good song that like that you listen to and you just feel better. Like I I am that. I am that. One is that. You feel me? One deems himself that. So that's the video. You feel me? Untouchable shit. Next level aspect. Unfuckwittable energy. This is you. You feel me? All truths are half truths. Take what you want, leave what doesn't work, but gain knowledge of self by tapping into knowledge of the jungle. Because tapping into knowledge of the jungle is tapping into knowledge of self because the mind is a jungle. You dig? Love. I will see you when you see me. All right, welcome to Knowledge of the Jungle. Very excited to have you here. This is a free community focused on personal growth and internal transformation. So if you're someone looking for a like-minded community with individuals who are focused and serious about change, reaching higher states of consciousness, spiritual transformation, financial transformation, deep conversations, and so on, this is the place for you, all right? As you can see, we're just getting started but we have members on board and we're about to tap inside the community so you can see what it looks like and see if this is any interest for you. All it is is a frequency you have to get on if you're trying to experience the change. So as you can see, we have members in here. The goal of this group is for transformation and us sharing what works. So you have members asking questions about deeper insights and towards things, certain testimonials right here. We have Jessica Gibson. As you can see, she just has a great story, you know, and she talks about how she went from nothing to something. And now she's very much financially stable and she's been using the information that I teach on my channel and the information that's in this group as far as the practices go. You can see this area is general discussion, book recommendations, occult knowledge, shadow work, money manifestations, magic, the basics, and so on. These are guaranteed what you need in order to elevate. You must have a deep understanding or at least a basic understanding on what you can do, right? So this group is extremely powerful. You can also see inside the classrooms here, 
which are added every week. As you can see, these are all at zero because this is my personal account. So I'm the one creating the courses. I'm not going through it. But as you go through the course, you'll have this progress bar that can keep you on point and hold you accountable. Right now, if you would like to reach out and get on board with the program personally with me, you can simply click this link, sign up for the one-on-one -on -one coaching, fill out the form, make sure you qualify and so on. We have the magic class, magic 101. This is a very detailed personal one-on-one -on -one class that I teach that takes you from whatever money you have, whatever level of consciousness you have, and we advance it. It's a few hours worth of speaking with one another, but we advance you to a completely different being mentally so that you can start drawing towards you all the things in this world that you desire in a very magical, ceremonial, ritualistic way, all right? It's a very deep class, but it works, all right? We have my audiobook, Detox 2020, Hidden Lecture. Get on board, get inside the community, and get on the leaderboard. Because inside the leaderboard, you'll be able to have much perks. If this group is something that interests you, all you have to do is click the button that you see on the screen that says join now. You join, answer the simple questions, and make sure that you download the school app, right? You have to download. You don't have to, but it makes much sense much more faster rather than logging into desktop. All right, so that's it. My name is Jay McPherson. This video, I hope, gives you some insight to the community. We would love to have you if this matches your frequency. If you're ready to be serious and move forward, this is the place for you. This is the place for you. You can reach out to me. You can reach out to any of our admins. You can send emails. You can send DMs. You can take yourself from where you are to the world in which you really want to be. And this is a path for you to follow. All right. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you on the other side.